Marquette Township is making budget adjustments after the Sheriff's Patrol in the county was approved last week. TV6's Nicole Buckman breaks down the budget and its impact on current and future projects. I had predicted to the board about five years ago that by 2018 we would probably be in a situation of having to make some very difficult decisions. And here we are. These decisions refer to their budget, something that's taken a hit after dark store and tax reductions by the state. So that depleted our fund balances. So we don't have now the financial capacity to pick up small losses. Gerard says 99% of their work is statutorily required, but the 1% they have in their control is recreation and sheriff's contract. After much discussion, the board recently voted to keep patrol at 80 hours a week, as opposed to reducing hours to 60, which would have saved about $48,000 in their budget. The sheriff's department will be reporting back to the board by June 30th. Uh, what the cost saving measures have been and then the board will be looking to the second half of the year. Cuts to recreation have been made to make up for the sheriff's patrol. Swing set purchases will be delayed to next year. Funding for fireworks and beautification will also be impacted, including the restriction for board travel. In total, they came up to about $14,500, but that was enough in conjunction with some uh, concessions the sheriff was making to move back to the 80 hours. Despite the township currently only being funded at about two months, which is one month short of safe reserve, officials say their future projects to widen, add an underpass and roundabout to US 41 will not be impacted. Those are already funded and they're going forward. For now, Marquette Township is hoping to benefit from the Escanaba and Menards Dark Store case in the next few months of the tax tribunal. Uh, that will answer some of the taxation questions. We may get some revenue back, we may not. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Marquette Township.